Hello, everybody. Um, we are now uh, going to listen to uh, Ramiro Luz, a long-time contributor in Plon, long-time member of the Plon community, and he's here to talk about uh, the recent changes in his uh, professional life. So thank you, Ramiro, for being with us. Thank you for this talk. Thank you. And it's all yours. Oh, nice. Thank you. Hi, people. Nice to meet you again. And I came missing all of you. It's hard to talk to a screen, but I will do my best here. OK. So I will talk about the longest project of my life. Uh, the longest project of my life was the project I did um, kind of uh, convincing policy of trying to get people using Plone for like 10 years. And then when it was delivered, I changed my career, leave the, <laughs> the, the job I had and started to working remotely for a, a multinational company. So it's a real challenge for my life. And also I changed cities, changed houses several times. So I will talk a little about this and all of that in the middle of the uh, pandemic here in Brazil, okay? So I am, like for those that don't know me, I am a software developer and have a master degree in software engineering. I started developing for uh, small, uh, small software house. And now my career, I was kind of going, uh, liking better, liking most, liking more to work in the backend. So I started, I am working now as a backend engineer, okay? I like to do my own beer. I am not doing that because of the changes in my life. I don't have a space right now. I am a surfer, so I'm living near the beach to surf. I like to ride my bike and use the bike as a transport. So I use mostly bikes and sometimes I need to use cars also. I am a pet department. My pet calls Rosa. It's kind of rose in English. It's her name. I'm Brazilian, was born in Florianópolis, Santa Catarina, and I am living a little bit south of Florianópolis. It's in Bituba, near a beautiful place called Praia do Rosa. <laughs> so my career overview very quickly. I started my career working for a small software house. It was in a room of my friend's house. We have two employees, he, the boss, and me. Then um, he hired his brother. So the two brothers and me as an employee. <laughs> After that, I started working um, outsourced, like for contract uh, as a contractor for the Federal Education Secretary of Paraná State of uh, doing like uh, support and user support and some development for uh, some small uh, intern systems. After that, I, I also worked uh, outsourced in the Benestado Leasing Bank. I was working in a, a contract simulator system and did some support also. I started working in a public employer, employment uh, in Town Council of Curitiba after a, it's kind of a contest. You, you, it's a selection, you, you have to pass. And then I worked there for 20 years. And during the pandemic, I started working for buyers dev and outsourced it to Pinterest. 
so what's the difference I faced or I felt during this change? This change. Um, I was working in a politics environment. It's um, a place where when there are elections or some uh, changes in who is uh, the president of the town council, we have changes in the administration, we have uh, new ways of working, or, but the process is always uh, very hard, very strict, and the corporation working process is stabilized, stabilized and the TI working process was trying to change, like using agile methods and stuff, but the corporation work process is uh, well defined and is been there for years and it's hard to change uh, without uh, changing laws or stuff like that. So it's very uh, concrete, it's hard to change the, the process. The presence was registered by fingerprint, so we had to go there and put a finger in the machine that recognize our fingerprint and they know we are there for eight hours or so. And we had the annual evaluation, so we had a talk uh, advisor that uh, help us evaluate the evaluate ourselves uh, and evaluate the process and we have the stability uh, it's uh, you it's harder to be fired so you have to do very bad things or be, uh, like your uh, your results are not. The thing is, uh, you have more. You have less ways of being fired. Like you have to be to be very poor in your uh, results to to be fired. Okay. And that's one thing. Uh, and the other thing, that this is tablet kinds of, it's forever. So it will be the same thing forever. It's hard to, to change or the change is very slow. It's very hard to change. In the business, in the other point, when I changed it, I went to a business environment where the, uh, the results are very uh, important. It's uh, it's different for the political environment where you have to, uh, your results are not, no, don't have the same metrics as in the business. Like you have to deliver for people satisfaction instead of money or or client satisfaction in terms of usage of your application. It's different, it's very different. So uh, the same working process is stabilized across the company and with the freedom for things to adapt, which means uh, everybody knows how to work and the process is spread across the company Company, but the teams have their own reality and our team for them and it's it, for some time we were with three people present at work so we, we did adapt adaptions to our work uh, meetings and schedule of meetings and size of meetings depending on the size of the team so uh, one important thing, uh, instead of like proving you are there for some time or eight hours or something, it's important to answer things on time when 
people ask you something, you are in your working hours, you have, you have, or it's better to answer uh, when you ask as much fast as you can. So you can unblock some people or something like that. And uh, it's important to report progress, what you are doing, how you are going, what's the problem, and when you are blocked, why you are blocked, and what's the plan to unblock. And it's important also to deliver, deliver in two weeks what you expected to deliver. And if you cannot deliver what you expected, it's important to for the team to know before that what's happening, okay? So it's very important to communicate, very important to communicate. Uh, we have constant, I had at least constant feedback in Pinterest and a follow-up from buyers dev. So Pinterest uh, talked with my project manager, talked to me and said, Hello, oh, hi, how are you? Uh, we, we are you're doing good, but uh, this aspect you can improve. So I, I have this feedback and I can improve instead of being like, oh, you are not working right, you will be fired or something. You have a feedback, positive feedback, like for improvement. And I have a follow from Bears Dev that helps me to uh, talk about how I'm doing things for our client. So it's it's another uh, point of support. The the environment it's dynamic, you know. Uh, the the environment the dynamic environment it means like it's live. It's like have prior priorities well defined, and sometimes the priorities change and everybody is aware of this change and everybody's change in same direction so it's well from what i had okay that's what i can compare so as a buyer's dev employee i started to work instead of a uh, um, place where i had to work from home in the in the pandemic it was not prepared or not planned to do that to a company that it's online the process administrative process and procedures are online you have a system where you have your uh, employee profile and few things there and have contacts and have uh, other process with tools and um, communications are all online. Uh, I have from buyers they have a weekly follow up. Oh, how is going? How is, are your client happy? What they are? How is your work? Are you doing good? Do you need something to work better? So this is the weekly follow up. And I have mentoring. So if I need more, if you I feel like I need more help or more knowledge or more understanding in some technology. I can like try to find a mentor that may help me to learn by myself, like go there and learn this and this and that. Okay. My work day in Pinterest are with a distributed team. Uh, uh, there, there are people in Japan or in other uh, areas of the world that works for marketing. So sometimes I have to, I do support or, or answer questions from people that are in Japan or in. Uh, there are part of our team that are in Dublin. Other part are in San Francisco. So we have several people from around the world work uh, the process is of work it's well defined uh, we use tools to control our issues and uh, source code and everything and 
how the employees use these uh, tools and workflows and communicate through Slack. And so it's a well-defined work process across the company. Uh, the, the process is defined, but flexible. So we can adapt the, adapt the frequency or size of meetings. So it's possible to have a, a, a similar, uh, it keeps the work process defined, but adapting to the team reality. Uh, our one thing that I like most is the feedback. The feedback is focused focus on improvement. So where I can improve, uh, it's I, I really like that. And one other thing that I like to mention is lunch and learn. I have been seeing like talks about several uh, technologies used by Pinterest uh, during their lunch time. It's about the middle afternoon for me, but uh, I always have some minutes or 15 minutes, 30 minutes to watch some good presentation. It's very nice. But this is the bureaucratic talk and now the reality. During this changing, during this pandemic, I have a very hard social isolation. I didn't visit family, friends and stuff. I didn't go out, I didn't went to the gym and I was working alone in the in my room. So it was very hard. And I started to don't feel uh, feel like communicating to people. Like I, I started not communicating through through Slack with the team. I started working alone by myself for two weeks, and then this made me feel alone, more alone. And when I didn't uh, got an answer for uh, something that uh, was happening in a system or a bug or a fix that I should provide, I was feeling like a very strong imposter syndrome. Like, I, I, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then this was gotten stronger, 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 and I got depressed, very depressed, and tried tired, but very tired. And I didn't feel like doing nothing. And I started to cry out time several times a day. And after that, I uh, got a moment where people told me, you are depressed you have to go and ask for help. And I asked for help. I go to an analyst and doing some psychology uh, sessions. And I started to getting better. And from Bars Dev, I got support from a mentor that helped me to put the pressure down and know that it's like that. It's always like that. Uh, the problems are difficult, are very hard, and they trust that I will try my best to, to I will try my best to investigate the problem and communicate with people to, when you cannot find some answer, so, I have, I have from Bars Dev a support from a mentor and from Pinterest, I have a support from another mentor that was helping me in Pinterest uh, channels and ways of doing things and where I could get more help. So from Pinterest, I have a, a, another mentor to support me inside Pinterest. So I got kind of two mentors and I did my part. I uh, started to getting the help I had 
from every side and and the analysis, the Pinterest and the Bars Dev support was essential and the family support was essential to get pass of it and after that and nowadays I am like socializing a little more with safety, with masks, but I am like kind of getting back to the real life I had before this pandemic. So it's kind of this, this is what about I was trying to talk about, uh, about the reality that it's under the hood and nobody sees and sometimes uh, people are passing by this also, didn't talk to anyone. So if I had uh, only one phrase for you, it's if you need to go and get help, get help that's hard to, to do this by yourself. Go try, go and get help. Okay. So for uh, our job, Brazilian word for marketing, <laughs> uh, I work for buyers dev. If you want to work with us, you can send me your resume. Or if you're a company that needs software engineer and is spending too much time hiring, you can drop me a letter also. And I want to acknowledge Eric and Drew, Andre. Uh, I would did a little typo there, Eric Andre, and Simplest Consultoria. Uh, I really like to help to the organizers of the Planning Foundation, and to you that is watching the watching the presentation right now, to the Town Council Curitiba team, and all support I got from Bayer's Dev and from Pinterest during this hard moment. So thank you all. Well, thank you very much, Ramiro. Uh, that's, that was a good talk. Uh, thank you for sharing all of that with us. Um, I could relate to some part of it, definitely. And I think a lot of people could relate to different part of it. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, very courageous to share that with us. Uh, it's definitely not easy, but definitely positive. Uh, you, did, uh, you did good. Uh, so thank you again. It was nice to have you. I'm. I don't see any question right now in the in the in the Slack, so I think we're gonna move to GT. So yeah, if you all scroll down on your uh, Loud Swarm page, you'll see this button, join GT here. So see you there, and thank you again, Ramiro. <laughs>